Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Tracy, and if you don't know me, I have a passion for upcycling clothing, and I teach sewing on here. I'm so excited to finally bring you guys the tutorial on this halter cutout dress. The video of me upcycling this dress went so viral. I think it got over like 5 million views, but the video of where I first did this cutout, that one got like 7 million views, and in both videos, you guys were requesting a sewing pattern. I'm so happy to say that I finally made a digital sewing pattern for you guys. I also made sure to include where the hemline would end if you guys just wanted to make the top version of this. It's a very beginner friendly sewing pattern. So many variations to this dress. You can do the bottom flare if you want. You don't have to. You can add a turtleneck if you want to or you can finish it with a regular neckline. Also get rid of the cutout itself and just make a plain halter. That's totally fine. You need a yard of main stretch fabric, a half a yard of lining, and a yard of mesh if you guys want to do the flare at the bottom of the dress. Or feel free to just thrift a dress and upcycle it. That's what I did with mine. But just be mindful. You might have to piece together the fabric in order to be able to cut out the full front and back. Also make sure that fabric stretches four ways. It's easier if the item you're upcycling already has a lining. When you're cutting your fabric, make sure the greatest stretch is going around your body. And to sew your dress, I used my overlock machine for most of it, but if you don't have an overlock machine, feel free to just use your regular sewing machine with a small stitch size. With the seams that do need to stretch, just make sure you use a zigzag stitch or a double needle and you'll be fine. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, so let's get sewing. Start by taking your fabric or a dress that you're upcycling. I'm using a four-way stretch fabric, so just make sure your fabric stretches in both directions. The dress I'm upcycling had this mesh fabric at the shoulders like a cape, so I'm just cutting this away first so I can repurpose it later. I start cutting at the shoulders and the side seams just so I can get the most out of the fabric and I separate the main fabric and the lining. All of the pattern pieces are cut on the fold, so just follow the grain line. I'm starting with the back piece and cutting that out first. And only cut out one main back piece on the fold. For the front dress pattern, you need to cut one main fabric on the fold and one lining on the fold. Take the front dress pattern and just line up the center front on the fold and just cut it out with a rotary cutter. For stretch fabric, I love using my rotary cutter just because it cuts it so smoothly and you don't end up with jagged edges. On the front of the bodice, I indicate the floral cutout shape that you're going to cut out if you want. This is optional. You can also just make the dress without the cutout or the top without the cutout. So just follow that shape and you're going to cut exactly around those oval shapes. The cutout portion, it might be easier to just chalk it like the center oval shape. It's hard for me to get in there with the rotary cutter, so I just chalked it and I'm going in with the scissors to cut that shape out. Open up your bodice piece and you can see that the flower is connected at the center front fold. So take your scissors and just cut right down that fold so you can separate it. And now it's going to be easier to attach the lining to clean finish it. Repeat these exact steps to the lining. Take your lining and place right sides together. Grab some pins and just pin around that flower. Take it to the sewing machine and we're just going to do a straight stitch all the way around with a quarter inch seam allowance. So just follow the quarter inch edge and sew all the way. Don't forget to back tack. After attaching the lining to the main fabric, grab your scissors and just trim a little bit of the corners just so you can make it easier on yourself when you're turning this right side out. I take the lining and put it inside so I can turn it right side out. I like to grab a chopstick, it makes it easier to push against those corners to just get them out all the way. Making sure that I have the lining all the way underneath so when I press only the main fabric shows on top. When you place pins before ironing, it just holds everything in place and makes your life easier so just give it a good press. Pressing your garment is everything when you're sewing. As you can see, the cutout looks flawless. And for my favorite part of this design is the hardware in the middle of this cutout. My ring measured about an inch and a quarter in diameter. You can also play around with different shapes. So in this dress, I used a heart ring and it turned out really cute. And for the bodice version of this pattern, I used this really cool ring with like this rhinestone detail in the middle. So you can have a lot of fun with your choice of hardware. And now I'm taking those four corners and just folding it under about a quarter inch and pinning it around that ring. So just pin all those corners in place. Now 
After you've pinned those corners inside the ring, take it to the sewing machine and you're just gonna tack everything in place. I just make a couple stitches and back tack. Before I attach the back of the dress, I like to pin the shoulders and the side seams of the front of the dress just to make sure the lining and the main fabric stay together when I attach the back piece. Now you can take the back of the dress and place right sides together, pin everything at the shoulders and the side seams. Take it to the overlock machine and stitch with a quarter inch seam allowance. You don't have an overlock machine, that's fine. You can use a regular sewing machine. Just do a small stitch size and sew a quarter inch. Because we use stretch fabric, it's going to stretch. Don't worry about your threads breaking or snapping. With the four-way stretch fabric, you'll still be able to get it around you. And you don't even have to worry about finishing your ends because it's stretch fabric, so it's not gonna fray. For my dress, you can see that I kinda had to patchwork the pieces because I upcycled an old dress. Now for the hem finish of the dress, I'm using this sheer mesh fabric and after you cut out your circle skirt, place right sides together of the front and the back, sew the sides and just attach it to the bottom of the dress. My sheer mesh at the bottom, I was just using what I had that was previously on this old dress, which was like a shawl on the dress. So my pieces aren't completely full circles, but they're almost there. So um, I just recommend following the pattern because you'll get more flares at the bottom, which will look nicer. Pin it in place and just take it to the overlock machine and overlock with a quarter inch. And like I said, you can just use your regular sewing machine. And for the finish at the armholes, you're just going to first overlock the armhole. And if you're doing the bodice, you're gonna just overlock the hem of the bodice and then just fold it under a quarter inch. Just do a top stitch all the way around the armholes and the hem of the bodice. And that's how I do my hem finish on stretch fabrics. You're also welcome to just use a double needle, but I didn't have any issues while putting this garment on. And you would also finish your neckline the same exact way, but for this dress, I wanted to add a turtleneck collar to it. So it's just a rectangle, so you wanna cut out your turtleneck on the fold. The dress I upcycled had these really long ties, so I kinda wanted to insert them at the turtleneck at the sides, just to have like a really cute bow detail on the back, so you can also create that on your own. As you can see, the pattern's on the fold, so you have a really clean finish on the inside. And now you can place right sides together of the neckline to the turtleneck, place pins all the way around, take it to the overlock machine and sew with a quarter inch. And for this part of the dress, you do need to use a stretch stitch, so I recommend using at least a zigzag stitch. And to finish the mesh fabric at the hem, I'm just doing a rolled hem finish on my overlock machine. And feel free to do a baby hem on your regular machine. And your piece is done. I hope this tutorial was so easy to follow. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really is the best way to support your favorite creators for free. If you guys do recreate this dress, don't forget to tag me on Instagram at Transformations by Tracy. I would love to see your final dresses or tops. As a thank you for the first 24 hours, the sewing pattern is going to be 15% off. I have included the promo code in the description box. Stay tuned for the next video. I'm going to be releasing a new prom dress sewing pattern. I'm planning on releasing it early April. You guys loved the dress I made with the velvet scar. I can't wait to start working on it for you guys so i'll see you next time thank you so much for watching